Hey Kelly, this is James with Lot Health. I'm going to show you how to install the POSX thermal printer driver and then I'll also show you how to link it up in cache footprint. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and download the driver and get that installed. It sounds like you've already done this so forgive me if it's a little redundant. I just want to make sure I'm covering all the bases. Um, go to downloads and here is the POSX vendor thermal printer driver. You may have also gone to POSX.com um, and gone to products, uh, receipt printers, and ion thermal. That's the printer that you have, looks familiar. And then you can download and install this thermal exe file. So I'm going to go ahead and download that, take a second here, and then I'll start the installation. Usually when this installs for the first time, um, if you don't change anything, it's going to install using the uh, LPT1 port instead of a USB port. So that may be what the issue is if you can't get it to work correctly. So when I'm installing this driver, I'm just going to select POSX thermal driver, hit install. I have Windows 7. We're going to hook it up to a USB port. If you didn't change that, it's still set as LPT1. That's fine. I'll show you how to change that in a second. Uh, I'm going to select that just, just in case you didn't. And it is still set to LPT1. So, you know, if you didn't change anything through the installation, you just hit OK. That's fine. I'll show you how we'll go ahead and change that here. So this is going to take a second. No, I don't want it to be my default printer. I'm going to hit OK. And I don't want to reboot because technically you don't need to with this driver. Um, now that printer should be installed. You said you have Windows 7, so I'm going to go to my Windows 7 Start button, go to Devices and Printers, and we'll see that thermal printer installed right here. Now, if you didn't make that change for the port from LPT1 to USB, not a problem. You can do that by right-clicking on this printer. Go to Printer Properties, and click on the Ports tab. LPT1 is going to be checked. Let's scroll down and find USB. We'll check that, hit Apply. Now there's a couple other settings we want to adjust here as well. Go up to the Printer Commands tab and uncheck the cache drawer because Cache Footprint is going to pop that drawer when we print the receipt. We don't want the driver to control that. We want the software to control that. Cutting the paper, that's fine. We'll leave it at end of document. Hit Apply and then OK. Those are all the configurations we need to do with the Windows printer driver. So go ahead and close the Devices and Printers window. And then we're going to fire up Cache Footprint. And go ahead and log in. And once you log in, go up to the Tools menu, select Options. You've played around with this already, uh, sounds like, because you were asking questions about the OPOS driver. Click on Receipt and Hardware, and then Printer and Drawer. We're going to leave the driver as POSX or Epson Windows driver. When you do that, you'll see a drop down, and you'll be able to select your POSX thermal printer driver. And then the font, the font I recommend using is font A1 by 1. Yeah, where is it? And you should be able to select a font size of 9.5 after that. So there it is, 9.5. Uh, one thing I do want you to uncheck is cut after printing. The driver is going to control that. Um, so go ahead and uncheck that. And if you don't have a cache drawer attached, make sure you uncheck this. Otherwise, you may get some weird characters. Um, or it just basically sends an extra command to the printer. Um, go ahead and uncheck that if you don't have a drawer. And then hit test. It should print out a test receipt. Should work. Should look just fine. Um, there should be no weird line spacing, anything like that. It should just be one line right after the other and have exactly what you would expect on the receipt. Um, the company name may say my, my company or something to that effect. That's fine. Um, once you activate the software, if you haven't already, um, you will see your company name on that receipt. It's just a test receipt when you hit test. So uh, go ahead and hit OK. And everything should be configured. If you have any more questions, go ahead and email me at uh, product.support 
at lothill.com. Or you can call me uh, tomorrow, uh, anytime, 855-LOT-HILL, extension 803. Thank you.